Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa. I am a content creator and I also make my own skincare formulas. In this video I am going to explain how I use this amazing Pico Second Laser Pen on my skin. I usually use the Pico Second Laser Pen on my skin in combination with this carbon gel. Both of them combined together is known as the China Black Doll Laser Facial um, Treatment. Also known as the um, Hollywood Peel. I call this myself my own skin rejuvenating laser facial. So the first thing I do is a double cleansing. I clean my face normally and my second um, cleansing is using this amazing um, skincare skin cleanser spatula or scrubber. So I keep my face moist or wet with my foaming cleanser and I scrub my skin with this skin scrubber or ultrasonic um, spatula and after double cleansing my face then I wait until my skin is completely dry once my skin is completely dry I use my surgical scissor and I cut few pieces of my surgical tape. I'm going to only do half of my face with this surgical tape. So um, what um, I use a surgical tape to cover my eyebrows hairs and also to mark the my thyroid glands area so first I cut a tiny piece of the surgical tape and I cut I made few tiny cuts on each side of the surgical tape the reason I do that is because it's much easier to flex it or bend it so I can make that arch on my eyebrows so now I am going to place the surgical tape on my eyebrows hairs That's it. Now I am going to cut another piece of the surgical tape, but this time I am not going to make those tiny cuts because this is to place the surgical tape on my thyroid glands area. So again, I'm only doing half of my face because this is only a simulation video on how I do my own because I can laser facial on my skin. After placing the surgical tape on my eyebrows and on the two sides of my thyroid gland, glands area, then I open the carbon gel and in, I squeeze it a little bit on a measuring glass cup and 
I just waste the amount that I know that will cover my whole face, my neck, and my chest. And I take my silicone spatula and grab a little bit of the carbon gel and I apply a thin layer on my face my neck and my chest area after applying the carbon gel on my face my neck and my chest i wait at least 10 minutes until the carbon gel is completely dry on my skin after the carbon gel is completely dry on my skin then i wear my eye protect glasses these glasses are specially made to protect my eyes from um, any IPL or laser or lit light lit lights um, devices or machines again these glasses are made to protect the eyes from any laser device or machine or lit light um, device or machines that I use in the cosmetic industry so I purchased this on Amazon because I use lit light devices and also um, I use the picosecond laser pen so once I protect my eyes using this um, laser and lit light protecting eyeglasses I take my because I laser pin and I plug the cable into the laser pin once I plug it in it will automatically will turn on it doesn't have any switch to turn on and off once I plug it in it will turn on and the display will light up so now I will set the intensity level number four I use intensity level number four because I have been using the laser pen I think a little over six months now so my skin is already um, used to the intensity level i set on level number one and as the months goes by my skin i got used to each um intensity level so now i'm using the maximum intensity level number four now once i set up the frequency level number four my next step is setting up the frequency level because the first thing I do is targeting my skin imperfections like acne, acne marks, um, dark spots, sunspots, and hyperpigmentation, some skin bumps, and also some um, molds like these two that I have on my chest. So when i do the target to target those specific skin imperfections on my skin i set the frequency level number seven the frequency level is from one through nine and i um, that's my um, preferences or my own personal choice to select 
frequency level number seven to target those skin in imperfections on my skin so once I set the intensity level number four and the frequency intensity level I the intensity I the frequency level seven and the intensity level number four now I can use the pico second laser pen on my skin and another detail about this pico second laser pen is um this button um when i press it it will begin shooting the laser light i release the finger it will stop shooting the laser light so now again I set up this laser pen with intensity level number four and the frequency level number seven to target my skin imperfections like acne, acne marks, um, melasma, sunspot, age spot, um, bumps, and so forth. So this is how I do it and this is a simulation and demonstration so like in this big um, acne bump I just press it and release twice press release press release like like two shots ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta. because I already know where are those specific skin imperfections on my skin so I can do this faster like targeting those skin imperfections on my skin like in the corner of my nose grows a lot of tiny pimples in this size a big pimple there right there like tiny bumps acne in this side acne in this side and few acne there and these two moles then I rest then I repeat and those two moles rest repeat and to remove these two moles I do this slowly I don't increase it to a higher uh, intensity uh, I mean frequency level uh, because I don't want um, that um, that dramatic because I saw other videos about um, removing tattoos and moles and within three days you see, you see, I, uh, you see the skin that is scabbing I don't want that so i rather take my time slowly um, removing that mold and so far the way I, I'm, I'm doing it I'm seeing result because now I don't feel that huge bump it's really kind of like smooth so um, again I use the intensity label Four and the frequency level number seven to target my skin imperfections once I complete that session of the laser pin on my skin then I change the frequency level seven to level three I use the frequency level three for my skin rejuvenating laser facial that I will pass it all over my face because I want the collagen um, I want to boost my collagen and I want to diminish my wrinkles and so forth because I want to uh, keep my skin looking younger to age gracefully anyway like I said before I make sure that I set the um, intensity level for and the frequency number three for my skin rejuvenating 
laser facial using the pico second laser in now once i know that it has that setting intensity level four and frequency level three now i can begin using the pico second laser pin on my skin but this time i am moving the laser pin constantly i cannot stop on the same spot more than two seconds then on the other side of my face under my lips above my lips my nose my forehead my temple this side of my forehead and this side of my temple, my neck, avoiding my thyroid gland area, this side of my neck, also avoiding my thyroid gland area, now my chest or decollete area. And that's it, that completes my session of using the Pico Seco laser pin with the intensity level number three and the intensity, the frequency level number three. So now I completed doing both sessions, targeting my skin imperfections and also um, using the, the frequency level number three for my skin rejuvenating laser facial and uh, once i complete using the pico second laser pen i unplug it so that way it will turn off I put it away so now it is safe for me to remove my eye glasses And now I wait at least 10 minutes for my skin to cool down and also to allow my uh, natural skin pH to adjust itself. And after those 10 minutes, I usually use this microfiber cloth and I go to the bathroom sink and I set the temperature uh, natural, not look warm because warm water is not good after laser. So I'd rather have um, the natural um, water. And then I really wet the microfiber cloth because the um, the carbon gel on the face is completely dry so I cannot wipe it off so before wiping off the carbon gel on my skin I like I said I completely wet the microfiber cloth then I gently press on my skin the microfiber cloth few times allowing my skin to get the moisture that it needs to soften the carbon gel so once the carbon gel is really softened so I can remove all the carbon gel from my skin so after completely wiping off the carbon gel on my skin I make sure I repeat that uh, several times until I know there is no carbon gel residues on my skin after that I wait another 10 minutes allowing my skin to adjust to its natural pH balance. 
so I will not disturb my own skin to try to restore itself its own natural pH balance after that 10 minutes then I use this handheld device this is my an infrared red light therapy and also using um, like I said before that um, using any beauty device either late light devices or machines or laser devices or laser machine it's um, I have to wear eyeglasses all the time so then I use the light light therapy on my skin for a few minutes I usually do this with the lights off because I don't want the lights from any lamp to blend with the red light uh, because I want 100% the red light, light to really penetrate deep into my skin and that's the reason I rather turn off the room lights off so it's 100 percent red light going through my skin i cannot do that in this video because i won't see the recording anyway i usually do this with the lights off so i can get the full 100 percent of the lay light skin benefits like I said before, I only do this few minutes on my skin, like two minutes. Then I turn it off and now it is safe for me to remove the protecting eyeglasses. After that, I immediately apply my vitamin C serum on my skin. I remove the tape, put one drop on my forehead, one drop on my face, another drop on the other side of my face, one drop on my neck, and two drops on my chest area. Then I apply, oh yeah, I forgot to remove the um surgical tape the way i remove the surgical tape is following the same direction that my eyebrows hair grows so they grows from from this side to the temple side for this is the way i peel off the surgical tape or remove the surgical tape following the same way, the same direction that my eyebrows hair grows. And then I remove the other two tips that were on my tyro gland area. So like I was saying then, I apply the vitamin C serum on my face. And after applying the vitamin C serum on my face, I wait 10 minutes. 10 minutes, I do that all the time. 10 minutes, I interval on each um, trimming that I do on my skin. After waiting 10 minutes, after applying the vitamin C serum on my skin, my final step is applying my ceramide moisturizing serum i apply two drops my forehead two drops on each side of my face two drops my neck 
and two drops on my chest and um, with the vitamin C serum it was one drop one drop one drop one drop two drops with my serum and moisturizing serum two drops two drops two drops two drops two drops so now I apply the ceramide moisturizing serum all over my face and that's it I don't touch much of my skin after the laser um, trimming on my skin because the skin is more sensitive so I will not rub it much because I don't want my skin to flare up and get too red so this complete how I use my Pico Second Laser pen in combination with my carbon gel to do my own skin rejuvenating laser facial this is known as the hollywood peel or the china black door um laser facial so this concludes this video simulation and if you want to see the a uh, real video on how i use the pico second laser pen on my skin and in combination with the carbon gel on my skin uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel so once I'm ready to do the video demonstration I will notify to all of my followers about my new video so again my name is Vanessa thank you for watching and I see you soon on my next video